There is a fly named the Hustler. Now, the origins of this fly, we don't know. All we know is we tied it, and it works, and it's a great fly. We don't know what Josh Graffham was thinking, but you gotta check this out. Dude, that's a big brown Okay, uh, this fly is called the Hustler. It's an Umpqua fly designed by our good buddy Josh Graffham. Um, if you Google this fly, please, please Google Hustler fly pattern. If you don't put the fly pattern in there, you're gonna find stuff that you weren't expecting to find. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on a, a size 14 hook. This is a, I think this is a 2.8 2 mil bead on there. You could do a 3.2 or even bigger bead on, on this fly if you needed to get down. Um, but it's, it's just kind of a good all around um, a tractor pattern. It could uh, mimic some, some different mayflies, but it's got just the right amount of flash to it. So real simple, I'm just gonna dress my fly with thread and add a Coq de Leon tail. Just a few strands is enough. Now this, this fly I'm gonna throw Sulky Tinsel on. The Sulky is, is a great product because it is quite a bit more durable than normal small size tinsel or Flashaboo. And if you really wanted to get this fly super durable, you could counter rib this with some monofilament, but I'm not going to do that in the video. So as I dub, I'll just build up a little bit of taper in the body. Add more if I need to. Okay, so the body should look like that. And I will counter wrap, or counter wrap the, the sulky so it doesn't fall into the grooves of where I wrap the dubbing. Just like that. So that's where the, the flash or hot spot type part of the material comes from or part of the fly. Um, this does have a CDC collar, so I'm gonna use my fancy Swiss CDC tool, number 88, Dale Jr. An old trusty number 120 uh, multi-loop tool. You can use whatever you like to get CDC into a dubbing loop. Now on these Euro flies, you don't wanna get too much CDC. So I've got a pretty healthy feather. I'm only gonna clip about that much of the feather. If you have nice long scissors, you can get in there and cut it all off in one swipe. So the next part, just build a loop and stick it in there and spin it up. If you wanna learn how to make better CDC loops or learn how to use these multi-loop tools or the clamp, we have videos on both of those tools that, that explain it a little better. So we'll throw that CDC in the loop and just spin it up. Once I have it spun up, I will just use my rotary feature to wrap it around the, the fly, trim it off, and cut the excess thread. The only thing left is adding a little bit of uh, darker colored flashy dubbing for that, I've chosen some Peacock Black Ice Dub. I just dub it on there pretty thin. Pull my CDC out of the way if I can. There we go. And just make a, a neat little head. So anyway, that's the Hustler pattern. I'm sure that you could tie this in, in a bunch of different color variations, but uh, there's something about this grayish combination with the, the flash that really does well. 
I'll throw a little bit of head cement on there too, make it really, really durable. So there you go. Thanks for the pattern, Mr. Josh Grapham. Now, if he could only catch a fish on it.